Hi, my name is Ashley and I bought this awesome VW bus. Although it is amazing, there are things that need to be fixed and if you haven't seen my other one YouTube video, you will know I'm clueless about car repair. I really don't know anything about anything, but I'm trying to teach myself. So today I thought I'd show everyone how to put in new retractable seat belts into this bus. Say hello to my pink tire wheel, yay! Um, because I was really hard to find it, first of all, online to figure out how to do it because I, there was some uh, customization kind of stuff that you had to do. And um, secondly, I'm more of a visual person, a video person, so I figured I'd put this out there for everyone else who has the same issue. So basically, if you have the bus like I do, you have those old school um, seat belts and they're unsafe. Like this. So I'm going to show you how to put in a retractable one to make it safer. So here we go. Okay, so this new seat belt is called a three-point retractable seat belt. I bought it from Amazon. I think it was about 50 bucks. This is what it looks like, and the reason why it's called three-point is because there's one bolt here, one bolt goes here. You just slip this cover off with your fingers, and then one goes here. Three points. So um, for this bus, um, if you can see, there's three points, and I only have two holes. This stumped me. So what I did... Um, to make an extra hole is I bought one of these things um, I heard someone call it an L bracket but it was also called something else when I went to Lowe's so I spent a lot of time looking for it so this is what I bought I don't know what it says on the back um, and this is what we're gonna put on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to post it just like that and I know it looks weird and a little off kilter uh, but that's just kind of how it has to be and I'll show you how it looks right here is what it looks like finished if you try to do it the other way like this part facing that way it won't feed into this thing right and it gets stuck and it's like a nightmare so you got to face it that way so it's got to be straight all the way feeding up in here so it can be pulled out straight so I'm gonna go ahead and install that part first okay so here's the first piece done you want to make sure that this um, seat belt part is facing front towards the seat because if you do it the other way it's going to be all jacked up trust me so you want to do it this way so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to install the bigger piece uh the part that has the retractable seat belt and i'm going to stall it just like so i actually ran into a little issue because on my other side the seat doesn't get in the way but on this side it does so this is like a super old crusty seat and i don't even know if i can move it forward so i'm gonna try to do that but if i can't i'm gonna have to come up with something clever so we'll see so yay i was able to mount it um because i figured out how to move the seat up for those of you who do not know I pushed this little thingy down and it moved up. So excellent. Um, so I went ahead and put that on, that one, and they're all tight. They're really tight because I know this works because I spent like three hours installing that one. So I know what I'm doing now. So the last step, or one of the last steps, is to bolt it in up here. Now this was kind of the tricky part if you guys have this little beading right here like i do and there's actually metal behind it i was having problems with the top part and i'll show you right here this one when i tried to tighten it down it was scooting over this way which was causing problems it was causing bunching right here when i pulled it so just put a couple extra washers and got a little larger bolt um, and that way when i screwed it in it kind of overlaps this area so i don't have any problems so i'm going to do the same thing to this one and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to put the nice new little clicker thingy and it's got a shiny red button on there. On this side, I'm going to take this one off and put that one on and then I'll be done and it'll be safe and I can drive down the freeway and know that if things become too sketch, our seat belts will be there to protect us. And so now I am done. It looks fantastic. It's super safe. It retracts like a dream. Thank you to Bob, my next door neighbor. Thanks to Brian, who sold me this awesome car. Thanks to PinkCarAccessories.com, who gave me my bitchin' uh, custom car seat covers. And I'm gonna call that a day.